Alright guys, to start things off with, I'm just doing just white right on the face. I'm actually not going to make it look super painted on, and what I mean by that is, um, you know how like in The Dark Knight, uh, the, the movie, um, where Heath Ledger's Joker uh, has obvious face paint, but you can kind of see the skin under it. I kind of want a little bit of that. Now, I'm actually going to use the same uh, technique on the gloves, uh, just to give it uh, some natural shadow versus a harsh black shadow. Um, but that's the only reason I'm doing it there. Otherwise, these are gloves and not something that's painted onto his his actual skin. So, uh, technically, it shouldn't um, you know, look like like that and it doesn't oh, at least I don't think so so I am putting flush wash on it as I said I, I'm, I'm going to highlight this up and so it's going to look white don't worry about that um, however it's it's gonna have a little bit of wash and notice how banged up my brush is this is the regiment brush from the most wanted uh, list uh, of brushes from army painter link in the description below to get some of those for yourself they're my go-to brushes and, and I, I love them however they do need to get replaced every so often obviously this one's pretty banged up so I'm gonna I already have another one on hand, so I may as well just swap it out. So, next video, you shouldn't see this brush again. <laughs> Moldy clothes is for the um, all the green on him. So, he's got some sleeves showing up. I actually went in uh, reference to some actual comic book art. That's one of the nice things about having an IP like this, is there's plenty of art to get inspired from. And so, it looks like he actually has an undershirt of green here. And so, I'm kind of showing these sleeves, you know, like his cuffs. Uh, and then his collar. I'm actually going to do his uh, hair as well, but I didn't want to highlight white first. You probably could have done this highlight um, before doing all of the green, so you didn't have to swap colors. However, I didn't want to wait on the wash, and I didn't want to paint anything else yet because I wanted to paint the bow before I painted the vest. Uh, and then I said I wanted to paint the jacket and, and his whole suit afterwards. So a anyway, you know, you, you do you. But as you can see, I'm leaving a tiny bit of that flesh wash there. One thing I'm going to do off camera that I'm not going to show you is I'm actually going to add more flesh wash into his like eye sockets. Uh, so you will notice that uh, here coming up. And uh, just be aware that I actually did kind of dab some flesh wash in there to purposely make his... His eyes just kind of pop out a bit more. Um, the, because this is a true scale, so the fingers are really small, the facial details are really small. It, I mean, it is tiny, and so it's really hard to get in there. It's well molded, don't get me wrong. Um, everything's nicely molded there. It's just hard to get in there. Uh, so I do what I can while filming me doing eyes. Obviously, I always do better if I don't film it. Um, Alright, this is Avalon Sunset, my all-time favorite color to paint for whatever reason. Um, either way, there's an excuse to break it out here, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm not, it, it's not just going to be base though. Okay, pure red for the lipstick of his. You definitely want to kind of, you know, exaggerate this and, and really show it. Um, it's a defining part of the character and so it, it, I think it, this clashes out pretty well here. Um, and again, it's all um, molded so as long as you're careful and slow and not as shaky as I am, you should do a good job. Um, if you're shaky like I am or just not good, then you'll do an average job just like I do. <laughs> but I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it turned out great. It, it definitely sells this point. Okay, ivory for the eyes. So again, I put the flash wash in there. So I'm, I'm kind of uh, um, putting those eye sockets back. And again, they're so tiny. Just a tiny bit. I mean, I swear the tip of this has like five, five hairs on it. And it's still a little too big. This is terrible. Um, I have to clean this up off camera. Yeah, it's bad. You can make fun of me. By all means, in the comments below, just be like, oh my gosh, you're terrible. Whatever, I don't care. Um, I'm definitely using the wrong brush for this. So I'm using a uh, Psycho brush, but again, it's an older Psycho brush, so it's not as uh, not as fine tip. I should have gotten one of my Windsor Newtons. And, and it really, you just want something with a super fine tip that you can just put a little dollop on and call it good. So I painted the hair. I didn't show you the hair, but I am showing you the wash I'm going to put on all the green. That Athonian Camo Shade. Um, really great wash to do because it's super dark. Um, so you almost get that like black effect, but it's still green, so it looks really well. Now I'm going to get Seraphim Sepia and actually put that in the vest. And really what I want to do here, because there's no real detail here, but what I want to do is create kind of like the shadow from the uh, suit. And so along the edges, I want it to be kind of shadowed. And I think that does that really well. Now to highlight that green, I'm using Jungle Green. This is a very bright green with just a little bit of yellow in it. And anytime you add a little bit of yellow, I think it really pops that highlight green out. Now I am going to be trying to do a little bit of a cartoon style here, mostly with the suit, um, because I wanted the suit to seem kind of shiny as well. Um, 
However, you know, let me know in the comments below if, if you like this style, if you like maybe my normal style more. I was excited to do this just because it's a lot of bright colors, you know, especially with like the Joker. I mean, you know, with this purple, you know, classic purple suit. It, it's just, and his bright green hair, it's a lot of fun colors. But the highlighting is, it's kind of nice because it's really easy to do. What, what I did is I took this like violet and did a whole base coat like normal. I then added way more white in it than I uh, ever would normally to get these kind of highlights. And I did a rough highlight. I wanted to, uh, on purpose. For, first of all, the benefit is it doesn't take as long, but also it gives it kind of like a, a, a little bit of a drawn look. So I was tempted to actually, notice I outlined it, and then when I don't have to be careful, I went back to that regiment brush that I needed to throw away and uh, filled it out real quick here. Anyway, I was tempted to use black lines and to actually black line everything and then put the highlight right after the black line. Um, however, I would have had to do really clean lines I felt with that, with the black, and uh, that would have taken a lot longer and it wasn't something I'm looking to doing here. Uh, so I'm going with the really bright highlights and then you throw a wash at the end. I think it looks really, really cool. It's a nice, uh, interesting effect here, but let me know in the comments below when we get to that. Right now I'm just throwing Drushi Violet on. Drushi? Dr Drushi Violet? I don't know, whatever. Um, it's the purple wash from Citadel. Any purple wash will do. Um, it, yeah, I mean, he's got tons of wrinkles here. I love, by the way, on the sculpt, how it, there's more wrinkles where he's turned. Um, on the side of his boot, though, on the other boot, it's really bad detail. Like, it's just, it's just all mush. I don't, I don't know why. It's just not a lot of detail down here, but that's okay. Um, additionally, the base, uh, so I had to flatten the base because it was bent out of the box. Um, because they didn't use a hard plastic on the bases. And so, because it wasn't slightly imperfected, I think that's what cost it here. But my Citadel holder actually warped the base. So, right before I did this black here, I actually took it out of the Citadel holder, reflattened it, put it back in, and I'm actually gonna have to do it a second time. You see that white, um, on the bottom of his jeans? That's what that was. It actually, uh, washed off a little bit in the hot water. Um, uniform gray on uh, just as a base coat, you're just gonna cover it uh, quickly. We're gonna touch it up later. Um, but, but either way, it, it, again, it wasn't quite perfectly flat, and if, because it's not perfectly flat, it's gonna slowly bend again uh, because of the the kind of the clamp mechanism on the Citadel holder. Something to watch out for with these minis with the, their lackluster uh, bases. Uh, if you have one that's bent. Um, a clamp is just going to make it worse. If it's flat, it should be fine, but there were so many, so m about half of these minis have bent bases. So it's kind of, kind of a bum deal there. Monster Brown for all of the wood handles. I did it for his gun and his, uh, uh, you know, little knife, his little shank, just to, uh, uh, you know, uh, save time. So you could use two different, uh, browns and that would probably technically look a little bit better. However, I mean, it's, it's so small anyway. I did gunmetal instead of natural steel because gunmetal is a little bit darker and I wanted to, because these are so small and the detail is kind of eh on like this, as you can see here, it's very eh on this gun. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit more contrast, so I went a little bit darker there with the, the gunmetal. Black gray is my first always highlight on black. If I'm ever highlighting black, I go black gray from uh, Vallejo afterwards. I'm just kind of doing some slashes on the top. His Boots are kind of curved on the front, so I'm being sure to do that. And I'm kind of giving it a general shape on the front, so that's going to stay black-gray. And when I do a second coat of a uh, um, gray uh, here in a bit, and that's going to not go everywhere like this is, but this one's you know more or less everywhere. So here's that uniform gray out again, a little much brighter, so you definitely want this to be kind of the shine part of it. So I'm just putting it on just the parts that I think would shine. Uh, so he has some nice, nice shoes here. Alright, next up we got Nolan Oil. Again, I'm going to darken this even more, get that contrast to really pop, and it'll kind of pop out any detail that is there on the gun, which there is some. Uh, so it's going to kind of uh, fall into all those divots there, and really make those pop. And then once the highlight there, you'll actually be able to see more detail than ever you did when it was gray. Along with that, the Nolan Oil is going to go on here. Now this, this base actually works. So it's a little flat, so the wash, as you can see, pools a lot. Um, however, because of the dry brush I'm going to do, it's not a big deal if there's a little bit of like, you know, staining or whatever, where it can just kind of sits there and it's a little bit thicker. You can see it looks a little cloudy. I wouldn't worry too much about that. All right, so here's those really high highlights I told you about, and it's going to, he's going to look like he's from Tron here in a moment. I mean, this is one of those things where, like I said, 
Um, sometimes, even if, let's say you did this on accident, let's say you're like, oh man, this is way too drastic of a, of a highlight here, um, or it's way too thick of lines, or whatever. The, sometimes I'm tempted to fix that right away, and sometimes I'm like, well, you know what, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna stick with it, I'm gonna finish the mini like this, and then see if I can't make this look good. Now, this was actually intentional on my part, but I've done this on accident before. Actually, uh, Bane, when I painted Bane, which you can check out the playlist below for all of my Batman miniature painting videos that I have so far, um, I, I did the same thing with his uh, veins, where I highlighted the vein too much, and I was able to fix it in the same way that I'm doing here on purpose, which is putting a wash in after that. So as you can see, he looks kind of ridiculous here, and I'm not being super careful here. I don't mind kind of brush strokes, and I mean, I'm really shaky for whatever reason anyway. I think I need a lunch, but <laughs> um, the, the, the point is I'm not actually spending a ton of time on this. I'm purposely kind of being a little rough, a little thick. I'm not using my smallest tip brush or anything like that. Um, and I, I, I like how it turned out, uh, but it is definitely a different style than me. As you can tell, I'm, I'm still getting used to it. Uh, it's something I've been wanting to do for Batman for a while, so I'm glad I finally got the courage to do it. Okay, so here's a Drushi Violet, and it's going to go over top of it. Now, it's going to still be fairly bright here, um, while it's wet. It'll darken a little bit as it dries, or I guess it gets a little bit more matte, a little bit less, you know, um, bright to, to our perception or shine, or whatever the proper art term is or or whatever but anyway you're just gonna put some drushi violet on it again and that'll kind of blend the two a little bit while still having it look um more more shiny i don't i mean i'm not thinking like silk here or anything but i don't know something something like a nice fancy shiny shoot suit that's been drawn kind of comic book style but without any black lining okay now to highlight those uh uh, metal pieces. We're almost done here, by the way. So this is shining silver, which just about any silver I'm highlighting, I'm using shining silver. It's just it's a really good, um, kind of a a very bright silver that uh, has just the right amount of like glitter or whatever they use to make it kind of reflect light in it that I really like. Okay, so now we got uniform gray out. This is a dry brush, very very little bit. So there, there's not a lot of ridges here, so you want very little uh, paint on here. And then you're gonna have to brush several times because there's very little paint. Um, one of the nice things I like about doing this, sometimes I won't paint like the boots and I'll be able to dry brush right up to it. If you don't, and so you're dry brushing afterwards, you get a, a kind of a, an idea of like a shadow right underneath them because you can't, you don't want to bring your brush all the way to the, uh, to, to his feet or you're gonna, um, you know, mess that up and put gray on it, which you don't want to do. So you get a little bit of a shadow effect, which is kind of fun. He ha does have his little flower here, so he Emperor's Children out. Anytime I... This is... I mean, look, I'm, I've used green, I've used orange, I've used purple, I've used brown, so silver, black. This is a wonderful mini... Red, a wonderful mini to paint, just because it's so fun with all the different colors. Uh, demonic yellow for the little bit in the front here, and then gold, be very careful here. Um, uh, for these buttons. I mean, you want to you wanna definitely <laughs> take your time here. They're, this because it, they are molded, but they're very, very small. And so just too much will, will really get you. So I had to flatten the base once again. I'm going to touch up those feet afterwards. Again, the wa hot water will kind of bring it down a little bit. But I have ash gray out. Again, very, very little paint on my brush. Uh, and then a very light strokes here just highlighting that up a little bit more um not even covering up all the uniform gray and uh then also taking that ash gray and using the rim so all of my minions are going to have this ash gray um uh, rim and then all my heroes are going to have a blue rim i haven't picked the color for yet but i will uh and so this will just kind of make sure that you know everybody knows hey the joker's not a hero who would have thought and that's it guys, this is the finished miniature. I would love to hear your thoughts on this painting style. Do you like it? Would you like to see me paint the other miniatures in this style as well? If so, I will certainly try. If not, I might keep doing it, I might not. I'm not sold on it yet. I think this was a good mini to try it on because he has that kind of shiny suit and he has all those uh, wrinkles on his uh, on his clothes, so it worked well there. And if nothing else, it was fun for me to branch out and kind of uh, ex experience it myself and see if I liked it or not. Uh, as you can see, it is kind of a rough, rough highlight there, but that is on purpose. As I said, uh, I can actually highlight a little bit better than that. <laughs> Maybe not a whole lot, but a little bit. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate you guys being here. Be sure to, you know, give the video a thumbs up if you did 
enjoyed the video. That helps me out a lot. And uh, thanks so much. Talk to you soon.